Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a comparison video of the iPhone camera and the Galaxy S9 camera. And as you can see, on the iPhone, the colors actually look really nice and crisp, whereas on the Samsung, it's actually tinted very red. Now, on the device itself, the colors coming from the Samsung are a lot more like the iPhone. And I think I found out the reason why it displays so badly when it's on your computer. And this is in particular a Mac. So if you look at the information of the video, you'll find that the Samsung camera has a color profile of REC 2020-919. So when on a Mac, it actually displays very tinted red. Now, I don't know if it's an Apple bug or if it's a, a Samsung bug, but there is a way to make your Samsung videos look more cleaner. And here's an example of what it looks like when it's fixed. So all I've done here is I've taken away that color profile that was originally displayed. So the colors are slightly more red than the iPhone. And to be honest, the Samsung's colors actually look more realistic because it wasn't tinted that yellow on iOS. However, if you go into the iOS video, you'll find that it also has a color profile applied. So, <laughs> By default, both these devices come with their own color profiles, and that's what ruins the colors, in my opinion. And if you remove the color profiles, uh, you get a more realistic, natural-looking color. Just look, look at this. Before and after. A lot nicer and cleaner. All right, so to fix those colors on Mac, you're going to need an app called Homebrew. And what you do is you copy this bit of text command C and then you launch something called terminal and you can do that by holding down command and space and typing in terminal so once that's launched I recommend pressing command plus a few times to get the text a bit bigger and pasting in that bit of text that we copied from the window that we saw once you run that it will go ahead and install brew on your Mac it takes a while now, once Brew is installed, we're going to need a tool called FFmpeg. So to install FFmpeg, it's another command, and this will be in the description below the video. And it's this long one here. And this will go ahead and install FFmpeg on your computer. Once that's done, you just simply type in the following command, FFmpeg, hyphen I, open quote, drag in the video file, close quote, hyphen C, copy, and then drag in the video file again. I'm gonna I'll put an underscore, call it fixed.mp4. It honestly just takes a couple of seconds to run, but over in the window, you'll find the broken version and the fixed version. And you can clearly see that there is difference in the skyline already. And if you go ahead and play it, All right, thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful and let me know what you think in the comments section below.